Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horat Drak and we are playing Distant Worlds Universe together as the Agdarian Republic. Things are really starting to heat up. I have finally found out how to clone troops. So we are currently cloning troops on a uh, pretty large scale. Um, there are already clone troops coming up over here. I'm going to do more. Um, yeah. Here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We have a lot of money. And if I don't spend that money, then what is it good for? I've still can terminate terminators on this, but I'm going to build a cloning facility here as well. Is the cloning facility on this place done yet? No, 23%. Well, fine then. We could build a cloning facility on this place. And here as well, actually. And I think I'm going to build one on Kasuka. Um, yeah, cloning facility, why not? And then what I wanted to do, I have a lot of free colony ships. And I don't want to open any more systems that I have to protect, but I can actually colonize a couple of uh, planets that are in my that are in my reach. So it says I should colonize the fortress of Torek, which I'm going to do. I actually wanted to do that with the Boscoran ship, still 12 unbuilt. But what we're going to do is we're going to colonize all these other places. When it's green, it is basically in one of my systems. So we're going to colonize this place. We're going to colonize this place. We're going to colonize this place. 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 And no colony ships available. Oh, so you have a mission now. That's not good. Just have to wait until it until it works. Yeah, the Cascadons want me to stop attacks. Although they are the ones doing the attacking, which is a bit odd. Oh, yeah, and I've, I've repaired a frigate. I'm going to give that frigate to the Tekan Industries. They are fighting a war with the Ikurus. And are having a hard time of it. Still waiting for Daring Echo to start repairing that world destroyer over there. So now... There's Daring Echo, getting ready to repair this world destroyer. If we could get that under our command, that would be very, very good. Tika 6, Tika 4 has been colonized. Slippery Shroud is still being built. I didn't know that I could um, use this guy for colonization. And Overwhelming Enigma has been finished. We're going to give this to the um, to the Tekken Industries. Yeah, have it and have fun with it. Uh, we have finished the troop cloning facility in Alorin 3. So Alorin 3 can now do clone, tr clone troopers as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is good. Um, just looking. So, Pen of the Republic is over here at the World Destroyer Project. And the Vicarus want to attack the ships and bases of the Tharqua Sovereignty. Well, we're going to keep this information for ourselves. Vicarus don't really like us. Oh, well, they're pleased with us. I don't want to upset the balance of power.
And we have completed a new troop cloning facility. So let's clone some troops. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There are a lot of Ilta ships over here. What are you doing? And a troop cloning facility on Slucas. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Slippery Shroud is taking a long time to be built. And we've repaired the cruiser. We're going to give the cruiser to the Tekans. Here, yeah, have that. Yeah, that repairing thing is going pretty well. And we have completed a troop cloning facility on over here. So we're going to... 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Recruit some troops over there. Still waiting. As soon as this is built, I'm going to send it to colonize the place with the Fortress of Torek. Uh, which should double our troop strength. I'm not sure if this also applies to um, clone troops. Because that would make this horribly overpowered. <laughs> crazy. It would be just plain crazy. More and more planets are being colonized. That is going to send our private sector into a frenzy. And we have a new leader. Okay. We're going to rename our leader. You're demoralizing. Demoralizing but organized. Demoralizing will slowly decrease the skills of all other characters. That's bad. Okay. Can't dismiss you, but I will do it as soon as I can. You're not worth it. He's not that bad, but the demoralizing trait is not nice. Actually, how about our how about those agents that we got? Still don't know what you can do. Lawful, untested. Hmm. I'm using my intelligence agents uh, not enough. I should do that more, maybe. That's something I should investigate over there, it seems. An armored factory has been done at Relicus. Or at Relicus. Yeah, I tend to use the German pronunciation of these places. Because uh, the English pronunciation sounds funny to my ear, even though it is the right thing to do. <laughs> Go on, get finished already. Another one of our spaceports is being attacked. That's taking forever. Well, I could send one of my ships over here, move down here, and we're also going to send Tired Hope down here to repair that cruiser, maybe. And this guy again. And he's done. Fun. I like it. Blowing up cascade on ships. That's what I like to do. Uh, 
is something over there too odd. Why is it showing me this? Two components are built. I leveled up my colony income skill level. Well, this leader is demoralizing. That's not good. We need another one, and soon, because he will um, demoralize everyone on our home planet. One unbuilt. That is good. We're going to go in over here. Send you to colonize this place as soon as we can. All components normal. Still needs to be filled with fuel before it is usable. And Slippery Shore is completed now. High Temple of Nimuida. We won't find anything on there. The other people have been there before us. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping by sending both currents on this planet, um, which have as their native um, home thingy those volcanic moons, or volcanic worlds, to get a get a boost on troop recruiting um, speed and all that. How's it going with the troop recruiting? A fair bit of clone troopers still to be built. But overall it's not looking too too shabby. There are a couple of troops on Heiko. Oh yeah, there's slippery, slippery Shroud. So this Fortress of Turek is going to uh, double our strength. Any troops trained? The question is, are um, clone troops counted as being trained? Or are they simply cloned? That's the question here. So this place has been colonized now. We're going to build a troop cloning facility on there. It'll take a while. Resources are stalled and all that. So we have ships over here. With tired hope. Where are you? Yeah, you're getting there. How fast are you repairing that capital ship? Let's have a look at it. 158 unbuilt. Really? You're really rebelling. Why? We're doing what we can. Maybe it is bad to send the outposts, uh, to not build the outposts, but instead normal things, um, these planet ports directly. Maybe that's not a good idea. Well, I think so. We should be okay. I just don't want to double check every planet after they have built their outpost. I have to tell them to build this, pla build this planet port. They'll get there. I'm pretty sure of it. You can do it. I believe in you. Well, it will take them forever to build this thing. Yeah, all these guys now are having shortages. Oh well. Oh well. Deal with it. Now. So 
Well, this thing is gone. Yeah, sorry, Hakonish. You're not very nice. What are you doing? Okay, so he needs more resources. Hope they will return soon. Eighty-two damage, two hundred and twenty-seven unbuilt. One hundred fifty-five unbuilt, and the lead has been exhausted. That's fine. I'm going to get another thing of lead. War between these guys has ended, and the Cuscodons had an enormous sandstorm. What is this? That is a pretty cool ship design. I'm actually tempted to play to play as the Jintas at some point in time. I really like their ship designs. What's that? Jubilant Discovery. Snow mission. Yeah, it is moving at an okay speed, I'd say. You're getting your resources. And then you're going to go back. To repair the other world destroyer. Yeah, the Hakonish are annoyed that I attacked their repair ship. I don't want the planet destroyer in their hands, though. That's not going to work. I'm going to repair these ships and give them to the um, Tekans. Solitary bootlegger is under attack. Really? Where are we? At Heiko! Tika 4 spaceport has been completed. Oh, wait, um, where are we? Over here. World Destroyer Project. So, you're now here, building. 82 damage, 227 unbuilt. I wonder how fast our construction ships can do that. Uh, I'm guessing this will take a while. So how's how's the fortress of Torek planning planet coming along? Still a long way from getting that thing done. I should have gone with an outpost. Troop cloning facility is coming along though, sixteen percent. If this really doubles our troop strength, all I have to do actually is to clo uh, to to produce one troop in here. And then I can clone them everywhere in my in my empire. And that would be pretty nice. Because I won't have to recruit troops in here, I can just clone them. That is because we have... I think the troop cloning is over here in high tech. Where is it? Yeah, genetic replication. That is pretty nifty. Pretty nifty. Uh, we're, getting, we're getting all these attacks from the from the Cascadans. They're always pulled out of hyperspace, it seems. Provocation of Maru Pazdo is attacking this freighter. Fine then. Territory maps map. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Maybe I can swing some more mutual defense pacts. Maybe with the humans. I can only propose protectorates to them. They're just too... too weak. To have anything based on mutuality. How's it coming along? So my private sector seems to do their best to deliver all the things that they need. Someone transporting helium. I'm going 
to transport Jero's marble. Population growth is also bad. Only 6%. That's not enough. By a long shot, someone is transporting Krypton. So, in the long run, this will be okay. Why are you move this ship down there? Ah, it's only up there. Let's have a look at the World Destroyer. 149 on build. Yeah, it looks like we can do this in a reasonable time frame. Um, not sure if I'm going to do that. It might be good to have these World Destroyers in my back pocket. Against the Cascadons, but I'm already way stronger than they are. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's it. Over here. How's the uh, re repair process going on over here? No, he isn't really repairing. He is first constructing this thing, it looks like. 226. There's still enough damaged. I think he's building the unbuilt things first. I think this was damaged by some sort of blast wave. Maybe some of the I empires were fighting each other. Um, Fortress of Torek planet. There are even more freighters coming. And they have this uh, spaceport half built. That is good. Troop cloning facility is at 26%. Bringing Kazlon, you're bringing carbon fiber. That's all very good. I like it. Actually, instead of repairing a frigate, you could just um, build a gas mining station over here so we have hydrogen. Do we have anything in here? Oh, yeah, this gives us hydrogen and Kazlon. So. Instead of doing that, put a gas mining station over here. And then we're going to queue a next mission, build here a gas mining station. That is going to be good. I like it. Could colonize this to destroy the Cascadon's mining station in there. I'm not sure if that's really worth it. Our ships really don't need a lot of fuel when they are not fighting. They can go forever. I specifically designed these um, capital ships to have a lot of fuel reserves. All my other ships are built for 100 sector fuel um, reserves, but these guys have 200 sectors. Because well, I'm using them for strike forces and it's really annoying if you have to refuel them all the time. What are you doing? You're going to patrol this planet. I'm going to um, rename this thing. I'm going to rename this um, Torek. Yeah, this is going to be Torek. And this is going to be Torek Spaceport. Just so I know what's, um, what's going on in here. 30%. Going well, I'd say. Escape from Eden Destiny. Now these guys fear my capital ships. Seems they know that I'm going to shoot them. I wonder if that's uh, something to do with the AI improvement mod. I've never seen normal ships do that in in vanilla. These guys want to protect me. I don't think so, buddy. Yeah, this is going fast. I like it. I wonder, I wonder what components are unbuilt. Because if it's just armor, this should be rather fast. So, this Tekken construction ship has seen the futility of its ways. We have an Harkonish exploration ship up here. Hanging out, watching the situation. Wait, 
way we can select Torek. So the population is growing at a rate of 17% 17, 17 now. That's good. Let's see if I have any colony governors that increase the um, growth. No. 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 And no. <laughs> That's the most important trait in a colony governor and none of my guys really has it. This guy is negative 10%. This guy doesn't have anything. He has colony happiness though, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, it's in one. It's a good place. I'm going to I'm going to end it here. I thought I could attack maybe the, the cascadons in this episode, but it, it has to wait for a bit. I want to see what I can do without troop strength if I can get the fortress of Torek and a cloning facility down there. And then it would also be really nice to have the world destroyers. I don't plan to use them, but um, having them in our back pocket is going to intimidate them by quite a bit. That would be good. I think there are only two world destroyers. Maybe they've already gotten a third one, but I think there are only two. Um, all the other things are just normal debris fields. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments. And if you want to see more of the series, then please consider subscribing. I hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.